Good afternoon, YouTube. It's Scott with InsideTheGroup.com, back with another video for you today. So today, we're going to be talking about stick rods. Also, these are used in the SMAW welding, shielded metal arc welding, stick welding, arc welding, uh, rods. I'm sure you've all probably done this type of welding. It's most where thing where most people start out on. Well, it used to back in the day, I think a lot of people started on MIG nowadays, just because of the simplicity of it. But I wanted to dive into what these what these numbers are actually telling us on here. This is actually a code that's uh, set up by AWS, which is American Welding Society. If you've never been on the AWS site, there's a lot of good information on there of learning different things, and they have a great forum that's very uh, uh, helpful and supportive of anything you kind of need welding related. So let's go ahead and get into it. So as I said, the first thing is you got AWS. This is where all these numbers come from. It's kind of like the standard reference. So this first number is an E, or letter, sorry, character is gonna be an E, and that stands for electrode, obviously. These next two numbers are gonna be the tensile strength. So that's saying 70,000 pounds, PSI, pounds per square inch of tensile, tensile force per inch. So the one inch of weld is supposed to withstand 70,000 PSI of tensile strength. Okay, so then our second to last number here of the one on a 7018 rod uh, stands for the position. Now with a one, that refers to all position. So there's also a 7024 rod, which is, a only, is only gonna be used for flat and horizontal. And then there could be a four, which is for flat, horizontal, vertical down, and overhead. So if you try to run a 70-24 and overhead, you're going to be fighting yourself. It is very difficult. Uh, it doesn't want to st the puddle doesn't want to stay in there. Uh, I recommend trying it once just so you can see what the difference and how it reacts differently. Uh, so you have one, two, and four. I don't know why there's not a three, but... Uh, I've never seen a, a uh, three character in the second to last position there. So just to recap that, one is all positions, two is flat and horizontal, and a number character or number four would be flat, horizontal, horizontal, vertical down, and overhead. And this last number, probably the most important in uh, my book, is going to be the chemical makeup of the rod. So... With the 7018 rod, it's going to be low hydrogen, potassium, uh, iron powder. So this number obviously varies quite a bit on a lot of rods. Uh, like a 6013 is like everybody's go-to rod. Uh, also with these, these numbers, there's uh, the polarity is going to matter quite a bit. Uh, like so you have 0 through 8 so there's a 6010 rod that I'm sure most people are familiar with that have done any kind of uh, root welding of a, a op open root of a pipe joint which is going to be high solio sodium uh, and that's going to run on so for this 8 on the 7018 rod our polarity we can run DC positive, DC negative, and AC. Uh, I've only ran this in DC positive in my welding 10 years of career. Uh, never welded one of these on AC. It says it can be done. I, I, I've welded on AC on like a Cracker Jack uh, box welder. I'm sure everybody's grandparents or maybe their folks have had one of those in their fridge or in the fridge in their shop that only uh, only run AC and don't run a DC machine. Uh, I have ran it on DC negative, but that was mostly in uh, welding school when somebody wanted to play a prank as they're welding. They'd come up and they would flip the polarity and you would notice quite immediately that something was different. Uh, it didn't burn the same way. Uh, I'm sure there is probably benefits or or something like that as far as that, but uh, I would always recommend positive on a 17, uh, 7018 rod. Uh, and of course, the... 6010 rod they're going to be a dc positive rod as well and uh 
that they've only run DC positive on those. So as far as DC positive rods uh, in this last character, the only ones that can run DC positive are going to be a zero and a five. Uh, and then as far as the ones that can run all polarities are going to be a one, a four, and a seven and an eight. So that's kind of what the numbers mean on here. I hope that kind of helps you clear things up, uh, what these numbers mean, but there is some uh, meaning behind them that AWS has put out for us. Uh, a lot of great information on their site, like I mentioned. And I'm going to put a chart together, uh, kind of quick reference so you could probably print out and get laminated, put in your toolbox uh, to have to kind of demystify this uh, AMS code. That way you don't have to search on your phone if you're at work or, or in your shop where you don't have good uh, self services such as I do as a cheat reference. So we can go ahead and visit insidethecurve.com for that. Uh, they probably have a pop-up right now on, up on the screen here somewhere, however people do that. So if you got some of this video, be sure to go ahead and subscribe uh, and like and comment down below. And I'm going to keep pumping these uh, welding and woodworking and CNC videos and stuff I enjoy doing here. So uh, if you want to follow along, be sure to do it. Out.